What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are with Ryan Rigdon. We are taking the John boat out on its maiden voyage. Let's go. What, what's the deal uh, with uh, two engines? Uh, well, hey, four. Okay. Don't discredit me. Four. <laughs> Might just have to pop the bottle and have a good time. Should we just pop it? I think we should just celebrate. Oh, look at this. Whoa, oh, wow. dude. Ryan bringing it home at sunset. Why is the motor going? Oh, God, because I have this box open. <laughs> this box is on the pedal. So first things first, you guys, we have got to run and get the truck washed. The thing is dirty, got to make a good impression for you guys. I'm also meeting up with Ryan Rigged, and so we got to make sure she's looking sparkly. You know what I mean? Can't have a dirty truck for the first launch, the maiden voyage of the John boat that you guys have helped us name. We haven't come up with a name just yet. I am digging a couple. I need to break it down to like the top three. I'm really liking green pumpkin. I heard it only once. It seems pretty unique. The green pumpkin, like, come on, that's pretty dope. I heard the green machine a lot, but I do think the green machine might be a little played out. You guys let me know what you think. We got a lot of green machines and yeah, enough of that. On to today. It's pretty windy out. I'm kind of curious how these little trolling motors are going to hold up. I think I got a 30 and a 45 pound thrust. Uh, trolling motors, not with spot lock, right? These things aren't like over the top, but they are going to get the job done. Also, we're meeting up with Ryan Rigg, which is why I'm trying to knock out some errands real quick, tr clean the truck up, go to the academy, grab a couple things, and then he's going to join me. We're going to take the kayaks from our house back to the HQ, grab the John boat, then hit the pond. It's 417 in the afternoon, so we have like four hours of light left right now, but we're going to make this thing happen. It's going to be a good day. I hope the thing floats. If not, we have got the safety gear on there. Ryan Rigg is going to be with me, so it won't just be me by myself. We're going to showcase launching this thing or how we think we should launch it. I've never launched a John boat, just a bass boat. So like, I think we might have to like carry this thing a little bit based on the place we have to park at where we are fishing. But more on that in just a second. Okay, I decided the Academy stop was more important. It almost looks like it's gonna rain, but we're still gonna clean the truck. So what we're gonna grab here is some wheel chocks or like blocks. I think they're called wheel chocks. That way this John boat doesn't roll away from us as well as uh, some hot sauce, which is the boat cleaner we use. And then the last thing is a new motor support for the hot tamale, if I can find one in here. I think they're like 50 to 70 bucks. So a new motor support is needed. Ours kind of like cracked on us over like the first year we've had it. And so sometimes when we're driving down the road, the motor starts to turn slightly because of that crack and the pressure it caused. So I'll explain more in another episode when we break out the bass boat. But let's go ahead and get in here and grab the goods. Hey, this is what we have on the boat. We got a 30 pound Endura on the back and a 45 on thrust edge on the front. That's crazy. Oh, wow. I forgot I need one of these too, but I don't know which size i'm gonna have to we'll revisit those dang and i need these two for the lights okay wow a lot of stuff i need here we go here's one of the items the hot sauce ultimate water spot remover and high gloss sealant we use this on the hot tamale like every time we take it out found some paddles too i actually uh we kind of have an excess of like kayak paddles so i think i'm just gonna tear one in half and put it in the compartment up front so we can have like a paddle on the boat in case the batteries end up dying on us at some point or you know electrical mishaps. I can't find these wheel chocks, man. You'd think they'd be over here by the tires kind of, but I'm sure they're in like a complete different section. Ooh, we might want to need one of these in the future too. Those windy days when water's just coming up over the edges. Let me know if I need to get a bilge pump for this thing. <laughs> there we go. Little horn. Dude, I could spend so much money in here on this John boat. And this isn't even like cool accessories. It's just kind of like needed. Here's these. They're 10 bucks for a set. They kind of look dinky, but I don't know if I trust those. I like the rubber ones. Those are like thin plastic. I think I'm going to hold off on those. I don't see a motor support either. And I've like, I'm not trying to spend an hour in the store. So I might just not grab a lot of the stuff I came here to get today. Oh, wow. Dude, look at all this handy stuff. It sounds like those were the only wheel chocks they had. So I think we're going to go to like an auto zone or something like that and grab a, a little pair of those rubber ones that are a little bit more heavy duty. And as far as the motor support goes, I couldn't find that either. So hot sauce it is. Quick wash, let's go. Back at the house loading up the trailer. Ryan is almost here, but I gotta grab a paddle out of the Yakima rack real quick. Got the paddle. This thing's pretty dope too. It stays on the kayak trailer. It's an eight rod and reel combo carrier, but we can also put paddles and stuff underneath where the rods can go, so it's pretty versatile. Yakima. The legendary warehouse. We are here, y'all. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. We're going to try and be quick because we want to maximize the time out on the water. So we're going to park the kayaks, we're going to grab the John, and we're heading out of here. We ain't got 
have time for this. 405 pound deadlift. <laughs> One rep max. <laughs> Eric, if your van gets hit, it's not my problem. <sighs> Forgot we gotta change the hitch. This is the two inch, this is the one and seven eighths on this guy. Whoops. <laughs> Luckily, we keep it on hand. Hey! Weren't expecting that, were you? Hey, what's going down? Have you ever met Ryan? No, this this is Ryan Riggs. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Alex, where are you guys going? A little pond. Nice. Before sunset, maiden voyage. What's the deal uh, with uh, two engines? Uh, well, hey, four. Okay. Don't discredit me. Four. <laughs> uh, uh, so the thoughts are this one is probably trash. This one with a couple bucks could get up and running. Got to be relatable, right? You know, we don't we don't go buying five thousand dollar motors. Couple for bucks. Couple bucks. Couple bucks. Yeah, a couple bucks should fix it right up. I think. You a know a bunch about motors or what? I know the most. <laughs> yeah, this is a Suzuki. Yeah. Have you tried to start this at all? Do you know anything about? Yeah, he said it ran eight months ago. It's, well, so you're gonna reveal a crack tank. So first thing might be like the tube oh. to a like external can, or I look up the parts and try and find an ancient gas can. And then the next thing is the rope to pull to start it. I think is missing. And then other than that, you know, a little carb clean or something. She should be fine and dandy. Got it. Yeah, but basically all this is just extra stuff. We're taking it all off. I'm just gonna do one trolling oh, motor. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're taking it all off. One trolling motor. Yeah, nothing crazy. I thought you guys were gonna go out there with these two engines. No, <laughs> no, no. Those are just for looks. All right, let's see if I don't break these motors despite the fact that they appear close to broken. Okay, <laughs> two trolling and then two, two outboards. Two but outboards. They're, a little, they're a little dated, so I think we're gonna leave the outboards here. Probably won't need the extra carpet or the cushions. We'll take, but like, I don't think we're gonna use this at all. This is probably just gonna get in the way. Basically, we're just taking everything off the back here. I think we're just gonna go with the one motor. We might even take the battery case out of the back. And then if the one battery in the storage decides it's not charged or doesn't want to work on us, we're just going to paddle it out and it's going to suck. So we're just, we're essentially just trying to lighten up the John boat so that it can handle these high winds with Ryan and I. Oh, it's not that heavy at all. That's a light battery. I can deal with that. I don't even think I showed you guys the boat plug on the first video where I like showcase this thing, but it's like, ugh. That is sturdy. Well, anyways, it's in there. It's locked. So hopefully there's no leaks that don't work. I'm suing Casey who sold it to me. Nah. <laughs> Ryan rigged us on hitch duty. That's it. Roger Dodger. Okay, she should fall right on there now. Let's see. Oh gosh. Oh. Done. Hopefully the battery's charged. Okay, that's the right. Hit me with the left. Okay. Yeah, there might be a little connection issue with this guy over here on the left, but we'll get that squared away. Yeah, I see the problem right here. We'll get that figured out shortly. They literally added a dock and a fountain since I've been here last. There's fish feeders. Dude, this is such a cool spot. I cannot wait to launch this thing. Ryan, we gotta get in the water, dude. We gotta get in the water. Is this thing heavy? I contemplated backing it up to the water, but they really take good care of this place. So I don't wanna get all over the fresh cut lawn. So we're just gonna carry this thing down. Dude, I'm so excited. We gotta put some rods on the deck. <laughs> gotta pretend we're doing something else. So we're yep. doing something so that way when I come up over there. All right. Yo. You got the goodies. All right, how are we gonna fit all of our? Dude, I don't know. All right, we'll make I mean, work. how many did you bring? I brought four, but I don't. You brought need four? four. I don't really need four either. I'll I'll bring three of mine. I didn't even think about bringing a jacket, dude. I'm like actually cold. <laughs> yeah. Ow! God, treble hooks. It's the the real things, dude. You can't just touch those. All right, Weston, I got you a little surprise, bro. What? Look, check this out, y'all. Ryan hooked it up with a bottle of champagne to pop right over here. Champagne over the bow, right? Yeah, yeah. No way. It's this bottle right over the front of this boat. Okay. And that's how I guess you, you break in the tradition of uh, putting the, the boat in the water for the first time. I've heard this, people because people got mad when we didn't do this with the hot tamale. <laughs> dude, Ryan hooked it up with a bottle of champagne, dudes. This, it doesn't get any better. So how are you supposed to do this? I think we're just, just supposed it. to bust it open, to be honest, but... We'll pick up the glass. We might just like try to bust it and then drink it because it's, you know, it's one of those days we got to warm up. Yeah, so this is absolutely we'll right. Happen. Now, hold on a second. Here are you supposed us. to... Are, you have to do you it. You don't bang it like this, bro. You got to you gotta hit the top. You got to no, knock the No, no, you, you bang it like a bell. No. Yes. Really? That, or actually, they swing it on ropes to hit like big boats, but we're going to... So you're supposed to bash it like this? Yes. That yes. does not make as much sense to drink <laughs> it. So apparently you're supposed to do this before the boat hits the water. I don't know. Apparently you're not supposed to break the top. 
and sip this. You're just supposed to give it all to the boat, break that thing, and yeah, then it's champagne up and ready to hit the water. So. You guys ever catch anything out here? A uh, handful, yeah, bass. Nice. Yes, sir. Okay, we've, cool. we've been out here a couple times with the kayaks. This is going to be our first time launching this thing. Hopefully it floats. We just got it. Good luck. I'll, I'll see you. If not, raise your pull up. I'll, I'll see you. Pull you out. Good luck. Hey, thank, thank you. you guys. Do this it. is terrible positioning. <laughs> not the bottom. What are we supposed to do? Ready? I got to look away. This is not safe. Do not do it. Safety glasses. You want to have your life jacket already on. Let's Ready? Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> it didn't work. One more. Okay, round two. I think you just dented the boat, bro. Oh, we're gonna have to go with the big side. <laughs> it's too it's too much impact. We're gonna have to go with the big side. We're gonna have to hit it with All the right, bottom. Here we go. Alright, here it is. They build these bottles stronger and stronger. Dude, apparently. We, might, we might just have to pop the bottle and have a good time. Should we just pop it? I think we should just celebrate, maybe. I think we gotta just put this is not working. <laughs> Point bottle away from self and others. We're kicking at new school apparently, because I don't know how this is supposed to really shake down. I have a feeling this thing's definitely gonna fly. Firmly grasp. It's a twist top. Oh, it's literally a twist. It's literally oh, so twist. it's just gonna fly out of my hand. Uh, no, you should be able to grip it. You're a strong guy. Keep, so just like a soda pop. Yeah. Should I be worried about pressure? No. Nah. Should I be like? Just, just, man up. You got it. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. I'm gonna be all nervous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, boys, we're in business. We gave a little to the rod and reels to go along with the boat, and now we are ready to launch it. But first, <laughs> let's get our heads Ooh. in the game. It's time. We gotta actually put our tackle on this boat. Okay, she has been champagned, y'all. We are putting stuff on the boat. I'm talking about scale. Uh, what is that, a paddle? We got a paddle, we got rods and reels strapped down. I don't I don't wanna take all these bags here, so I'm just gonna grab a handful of what I think, or what I know works. Five inch, actually, you know, it's really windy, so six inch might be better, just because I'm gonna be casting into it. I'm gonna grab my general kayak box here with a little bit of everything. And that honestly might be enough. Toss this in here. Yeah, I like the X. I like the XT because the the it's actually like metal. It looks the like. DC is like flat and it doesn't have as much sex appeal, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And then the basic one, it, this one's got the centrifugal a centrifugal brakes, I believe, instead of magnetic. Regardless, I really like the SLX XT, y'all. It's probably my favorite uh, Shimano for being on the affordable side of things. If you're talking about Shimanos, but yeah. All right, rods are strapped. Everything's geared up. We're about ready to hit the water. Okay, how do we unstrap this? <laughs> unstrap the trolling motor. You ready? Yep, you ready? Sick. Ryan volunteered with the flip-flops. I'm in the white soles. I chose the wrong shoes today. All right. Wow, it floats. I mean the plug. Oh, look at this. Whoa, oh, wow. dude, okay, 14 foot John right here. The, the plug seems to be plugging. I think we're in good shape. All right, let's paddle on out there, sir. Dude, okay, you gotta keep weight distributed on this thing. Uh, I think we control it from here. Dude, keeping your balance on this thing is gonna be a chore. You wanna grab a rod for yourself and uh, I'll, I'll hop up there and try and manage this out to the deep water. Keep your phones and everything electronic safe and sound in a compartment, y'all. This is not a joke. All right, Shell, you step back here before I step up there. Dude, this is sketchy. Oh my, wow. John Boat content, who would've thought? Dude. Okay, we gotta get serious. Let's start, we gotta get serious. Let me grab a rod, I'm gonna try and work the motor and we're gonna get out here and try and catch a couple fish for you guys. Hopefully a ton. Maybe one, maybe none, we'll see. 14 footer, dude. You think, yeah, it's pretty stable, but hey, <laughs> borderline. That's my bad. Watch yourself. <laughs> sea legs, sir. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're moving now. Really? I gotta keep the I gotta keep the motor on the surface because the grass is like right up to us. The idea with this guy right here was to loosen it up a little bit. Then you can turn it and I can bust one of these numbers. Check that out. Okay, so now, if I just keep this on like max speed, I should be able to steer and use this foot pedal. We're in business. All right, so we just done flip this thing around. Gotta make sure everything's tight. This is where it needs to be really tight though. It was twisting it, but it wasn't twisting it. You know what I mean? This is sketch, dude. Ryan just decided to stand up for the first time. He was like sitting down like, I don't know if I should do it. Imagine if we just drift into this fountain, battery stops working. If this jerkbait doesn't work, those those worms are almost a guarantee like wacky. Yeah, that's 
All right, y'all, first cast. Starting off with the jerk bait. Ooh, you turn the boat with that hook set. Your bait just like pulled the tail end towards it. <laughs> this is nice. I kind of like the little hand adjustment. You just kind of have it set up at, a, at the proper angle. And then you know you can just kind of step on that foot pedal and you can keep the boat angle the same, even like drifting in the wind. It's pretty nice. I like the carpet. Dude, this is cool. Very cool. Oh, is, that, is that suede? Yeah, suede on the roof, <laughs> wood grain on the dash, champagne on the bow, Ryan in here with the stash. <laughs> oh, do we have one? That's definitely a tree right there. Wow, we found the trees, let me tell you. They're laughing at me over there. You hear that? Rank, rank, rank. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> that ain't no fish. Yep, you got travel hooks, don't you? Ha, you're screwed. It's just a matter of finding the angle of the dangle. All right, let's take an estimate and say that line's probably frayed. I mean, we've pretty much worked a whole bank line towards the trees and deep, and I haven't caught anything on the jerk bait. Most smart fishermen would have probably switched already, but I wanted to give this time because it has worked here in the past, but I think they're on something a little bit different today. So I might drop down a little, a little Sanko. Can't really go wrong, can you? Luckily, we brought just the rig. Where is my clippers? That's what I need to do. I need a set of the retractable snips for the boat. Totally forgot. Never fear. They're in here. Dude, this is the one tool I cannot live without. For real. Rig up the old wacky. Toss it in there by the old cover. Yeah, that battery box in the back definitely helps keep it level. I'm, I'm bringing it next time. This is good. Yeah. This is good. But like, if it was just me, I don't know. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I'd be putting everything I can in the back. The little Johnny boat. I gotta tell you, I do feel more stable on my 12-foot kayak than on the 14-foot John boat. <laughs> there is a level of instability with these John boats that is unmatched. <laughs> One little fish would make all the difference right now. Come on, man. We fed this thing champagne. She's fueled up. Oh, dude, I thought I had one. I think, oh, I had one. Oh, I had one. Oh, I had one. Dang. I don't know if it was a bass or a bluegill, but we had one, boys. Spot lock, just kidding. It <laughs> doesn't have it. <laughs> Venturing out to deep water. Dang, full speed ahead. What the heck? Wow, that thing's got some thrust. Figure we try some deeper water now that we've given the shallows a touch. No electronics, man. We don't know where they're at. <laughs> All right, y'all, in an attempt not to get skunked on the boat's first time out, I have downsized to five inch cinnamon from the six inch watermelon red flake. Let's see if it has any impact. It has also just started raining on us, you guys. So we probably got a little bit of time left. It is almost 60 degrees outside. I was wearing a tank top because it was like 80 earlier. So I'm getting a little chilly. Oh, <laughs> Ryan bringing it home at sunset. Why is the motor going? Oh God, because I have this box open. This box is on the pedal. Yo, we're spinning. <laughs> Sick. Yes, dude. Probably, I'd say state record, to be honest. <laughs> Lucker program. Yes. Beaten skunk, boys. <laughs> it's probably about a seven inch dink. Let's go ahead and try and get me one. Otherwise, we're about to load this thing up, you guys. What a success. Giant. Do it. I was told there was beasts here. Yeah. Yeah, you the man. Right. All right, y'all, what a day. Just got back home. And look, dudes, the trailer fits in the garage. I had my doubts, but look, it fits <laughs> barely. <laughs> like, okay, I'm, mm, barely depends on who you talk to. This is actually a pretty spacious little setup. Much more room than the kayak trailer. The STI is normally in here, but if we've got this out for a few days and don't want to leave it outside, it can stay in the garage while we run it, and then we'll just take it back to the HQ when it's not in use. But what a day out with Ryan Rigged. You guys can find all of his socials linked down in the description, and he helped out so much in today's video, bringing the champagne, say what, and getting the only catch on the boat, so he whew, got us away from a skunk the first time we took the John out. Don't forget to drop a like on this one. Help it hit 2,000 and let us know where you want to see us take this thing because literally the sky is the limit. I know today wasn't a numbers day. We went out there with enough sunlight to pretty much launch the thing and put it back on the trailer. It's a little bit heavier than we thought. With all the woodwork and the trolling motor, it is a little tough getting on the trailer. If it was just me, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. So future launches, I'm going to probably be taking this thing, backing it up in four wheels until the boat is actually in the water. And then the retrieval process is probably going to be the same thing. Get that 
trailer in the water because it's actually heavy. But just wait until we have a big number day and catch some giants on this John boat. It's gonna be some of the most fun videos I can already tell. It's a totally different experience than the kayaks or the big bass boat. So I hope you guys are ready for more. Definitely gonna be taking some subscribers out on the boat, doing some 1v1 challenges. Y'all let me know what you'd like to see. Devin and I are gonna be taking it out left and right and look forward to some insane catches. So you guys have a lot to look forward to between the bass fishing content, the kayak, the banks, and now the John boat. We could not be more thrilled. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh.